Welcome back everyone. We're going to start on the next uh, stage now. So we've done the body, we need to do the CO2 housing. Scroll around. Okay, this CO2 housing, as you can see on the drawing here, it's got a red component and a blue component, and they're highlighted and labeled housing and hole. Okay, so I need to do two different things here. We need to create a housing, we need to create a hole. Okay, it's a spherical object rotated around a single axis, and you can see that's highlighted here, and I've got a detailed drawing showing one profile from the center line, which makes my life a lot easier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is draw that outline there, and have I got dimensions for it? Yes, I do. Cool. That must be the origin. Yep, the origin point would be there. That makes sense. It's in line with where the other one was. And then revolve it. Only half of it, though. Okay, cool. So, uh, create a sketch. I'm going to select that plane there. I'm going to try and draw this shape upside down. So it's actually this one here. I might just zoom in a bit. I'll make it a bit easier. Okay, so I want from here, this arc here, then another arc, then a straight line, then down, because I just want this half. So I'm going to go line, I'm going to start at this end, I'm going to go up, 12.5, going to go line again, drag it across, 55, tab, I'm going to just click. Okay, I'm going to hold the left mouse button and drag, and I've got an arc. Do the same thing again, go all the way down to this red line, which is the, uh, well, it should be the Z axis, I believe. Or is that the X axis? Regardless. Uh, and then I'm going to do one line from the point there back to the origin again. Cool, I'm going to devisualize the origin because that's a little bit unclear. And yeah, that looks like that shape there, if you look at it, it's half of that shape, which is this shape here that's grayed out, but doesn't have the hole included. So I'm missing my dimensions, so let's uh, just put those in the right-ish place. That's good. That's good. Cool. Okay. Um, let's just put the rest in. So dimension that whole line there is 100. or oh, 102 is pretty close. And then this looks like it's bending back in. I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to select coincident and select the center of that arc here coincidence it to the line which didn't seem to want to work there we go that worked that time okay any other dimensions I'm missing we're probably screaming at me through the screen one two three four one two three okay I'm missing that one click D on the keyboard three perfect and everything has now gone black so everything's fully constrained man that was easy all right a quick revolve Select the profile, done. Select the axes, done. Do I want it to cut it out? No. Okay, so this is where you need to check what we're doing, folks. We want to go tight. Angle's fine, but I only want 180, because if you look at the design, the design only gets 180, doesn't it? And then I need to select operation, and I want to join that to my body. Cool. Select OK. There you go. Now the second bit. Okay, hole. Hole, 52, 19. Now, that little, it's hard to see. That icon there, if you don't know, means depth. From the surface down, 52. And then diameter is that other symbol, 19. So if I go to the H, which is the hole tool, underneath the create panel, I'm going to scroll around and I'm just going to select well, I'm going to hover over this plane, then I'm going to hover over the origin point here, because that happens to enable me to snap it. If I'm sure, I can always grab it and snap it again. So that's the middle of the shape. That's the middle of the, the actual circle. Cool. Now, that doesn't look right compared to what this looks like. So let's just go through the settings. Depth. Well, I worked that one out. 52. Diameter. Worked that one out before. That was 19. Tip angle. Hmm. What's that? Okay. Let's experiment. Uh, tip angle 70 makes it sharper. I want it flat. Okay, so that probably means it needs to be 180. Bingo. Anything else? That looks good. Click OK. That looks pretty much perfect. Swivel it around. Yeah, nice. All right, I'm going to spend this time quickly just to save what I've got done. Click OK. Version 1. Awesome. Good job.